exponential functions, meron tayong dalawang rules na dapat matutunan ngayon. Yun yung derivative ng e to the u at yung derivative ng a to the u. Yung derivative ng e to the u is basically e to the u times nung derivative nung ating exponent based dun sa ating problem na gagamitin later on. At ang pagkuha naman ng derivative ng a to the u wherein a is any constant at yung u is any function dun sa ating um, problem dun sa calculus will be given by the derivative of a to the u in terms of x is equal to a to the u times ln a times the derivative of u dx. Now, ito yung dalawang basic examples ng pagkuha ng derivative gamit itong dalawang derivative rules na gagamitin natin sa lesson natin. For example, kailangan natin kunin yung derivative ng e raised to 7x with respect to x. Gamit ang ating formula, kailangan lang natin gawin is kopyahin yung ating original function e to the 7x multiplied by the derivative of the exponent which is 7x. So ang derivative ng 7x ay 7, therefore ang derivative ng e raised to 7x ay 7e to the 7x. Now, ito yung pamaraan or basic um, pa, na, na pagkuha ng derivative ng function na e to the u. Now, kapag ka naman yung ating function instead of e ay constant or any constant, let's say 5, kapag kinuha natin ang derivative ng 5 raised to 7x, gamit ang ating formula ng derivative rule ng a to the u, we'll have to copy a to the u, which is 5 raised to 7x, times yung ln of a, which is ln of 5, times yung derivative ng ating exponent ng ating constant, which is 7x. At ang derivative ng 7x natin ay 7. So, pag sinimplify natin itong function or derivative function na ito, ang derivative ng 5, 5 raised to 7x is simply 7 times 5 raised to 7x, ln of 5. So, ito yung pagkuha ng derivatives gamit itong dalawang bagong rules na iniintroduce ko sa inyo para sa ating mga exponential function. Now, dito sa example number 1, we need to find the derivative of 5 e to the 2x cubed plus 3x. So, sa function na ito, Nakakakita tayo ng constant, so using our constant rule, or yung constant times any function, kailangan lang natin gawin is set aside yung ating constant at mag-focus tayo doon sa derivative ng ating e raised to 2x cubed plus 3x. At ang derivative ng e to the u ay simply e to the u du dx. So, kukopyahin lang natin yung function na e to the u times yung derivative ng ating exponent, which is 2x cubed plus 3x. Now, simplifying our function, we'll have 5 times yung ating e to the u times yung derivative ng exponent, which is 6x squared plus 3. And to further simplify your function, pwede nating i-multiply si 5 dun sa ating parentheses kasi hindi naman siya raised sa exponent. So, pwede nating gamitin yung distributive property to further simplify our derivative function. So, ang ating final answer will be 30x squared plus 15 times e to the u or e to the 2x cubed plus 3x. Now, sa second example naman natin, we have e to the u function at yung ating exponent ay isang trig function. So, dalawang derivative rule yung gagamitin natin. Isa yung derivative rule ng e to the u at yung derivative rule naman sa pagkuha ng derivative ng cotangent x. So, f prime of x will be e to the u times derivative ng ating exponent which is co cotangent 3x to the fifth. At alam naman natin na ang derivative ng cotangent u ay negative cosecant squared u du dx. So we have here negative cosecant squared 3x to the fifth times yung derivative ng 3x to the fifth which is 15x to the four. So if we're going to simplify this particular derivative function, yung ating f prime of x is now negative 15x to the 4th cosecant squared 3x to the 5th times 
e raised to cotangent 3x to the fifth power. So yan yung ilang mga halimbawa sa pagkuha ng derivative ng function na e to the u. Sa pangatlong example natin, meron tayong function na sine 3x x times 1 half e to the 2x. Now, in this function, ang rule na gagamitin natin will be rule ng product rule, pagkuha ng derivative ng sine x, at pagkuha ng derivative ng e. So, basically, kailangan natin ng tatlong derivative rules para makuha natin yung derivative ng f of x. So, since product rule yung gagamitin natin, it's simply f of x times g prime of x plus f prime of x times g of x. So, kukopyahin lang natin si sine 3x, kukunin natin derivative ng second function, plus derivative ng first function, times kopya ng ating second function. At ang pagkuha ng derivative ng 1 half e to the 2x is simply e to the 2x kasi um, derivative nito will be um, derivative ng u is 2 multiplied by the constant. So, makakancel nyo na yung 1 half and 2. At ang derivative naman ng ating um, 1 half or ng sine 3x will be 3 cosine 3x. Now, gagamitin natin yan sa ating derivative function para masimplify natin itong function natin na ito given by f prime of x equal to sine 3x times e to the 2x plus 3 cosine 3x times 1 half e to the 2x. So, ito na ngayon yung ating derivative function. And if you want to further simplify your derivative function, pwede nyong i-factor out si e to the 2x kasi common factor siya ng dalawang terms ninyo. So, pwede nyo siyang ilabas. At ang matitira na lang is sine 3x plus 3 over 2 cosine 3x or 3 times 1 half which is 3 over 2. So, yan yung ating derivative na gumagamit ng tatlong rules. Yung product rule, derivative ng sine, at derivative ng e to the u. Sa examples naman natin na nandirito, ito naman yung mga examples ng derivative ng ating a to the u or function na constant raised to a power or a function which is given by the rule a to the u times ln a times du dx. So, yung ating unang function, we have the derivative of a constant which is 3 raised to 5x plus 1. So, ang gagamitin natin ditong formula will be yung derivative ng a to the u. So, here, kailangan natin kopyahin yung ating function, 3 to the 5x plus 1, times yung ln ng constant, which is 3, times yung derivative ng ating exponent, which is derivative of 5x plus 1 with respect to x. So, kukopyahin lang natin itong ating functions na nandito, at kukunin natin yung derivative ng 5x plus 1 given by 5. So, to simplify your derivative function, yung derivative nitong 3 to the 5x plus 1 is simply equal to 5 ln of 3 times 3 raised to 5x plus 1. So, gamit yung derivative rule na natutunan natin doon sa ating unang slide. At yung ating pangalawang function naman, we need to find the derivative of, of a constant which is 7 raised to e to the 2x. So, dalawang rules yung gagamitin natin dito. Yung derivative ng a to the u at yung derivative ng e to the u. So, ang una natin gagamitin is yung derivative ng a to the u which is a to the u, kopya, times ln ng constant which is 7, times yung derivative ng ating exponent which is a e raised to 2x. So, ang derivative ng e raised to 2x is e to the u du dx. So, ang derivative ng 2x is 2. So, therefore, yung ating derivative ng exponent will simply e to the 2x times 2. So, kukopyahin lang natin yung ating a to the u ln a. And to further simplify our function, yung derivative ng ating 7 raised to e to the 2x is simply 7 e to the 2x times ln of 7 times yung 2e raised to 2x. At yan yung dalawang bago nating uh, derivative rules sa pagkuha ng derivative functions ng mga exponential functions.